From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Dimethyltryptamine, or DMT, is a naturally occurring compound made of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Think of it as a cousin to serotonin. DMT is present in plants and trace amounts exist in the human body. Scientists aren't sure what role DMT plays in humans, but plants containing DMT have been used in religious ceremonies for thousands of years. In the United States, DMT is a Schedule I drug, and its legal use is restricted to certain religious organizations, such as Unia de Vegetal. This substance is illegal under Section C, which means there is a lack of accepted safety for use of DMT under medical supervision. The substance is not addictive, yet thousands of people in the U.S. and abroad have used it to experience what some describe as an extra-dimensional plane of reality, vastly different from our own, but just as real. Here's where it gets crazy. According to some researchers, these users may be at least partially correct. It seems that DMT users may have eerily similar hallucinations. In the spirit molecule, Dr. Rick Strassman, a professor of psychiatry at the University of New Mexico, notes that many of the 60 volunteers he exposed to DMT reported experiencing an interaction with some other intelligence, an alien presence that communicated with them during their hallucinations. According to Graham Hancock, author of Supernatural, these presences are real and are able to assist human beings. As evidence, Hancock points to the success of Ayahuasca clinics, which expose drug addicts to the traditional Ayahuasca rituals of the Amazon. After five sessions with the drug, Hancock claims more than half of the addicts in the clinic break their addiction completely. Hancock also believes that this drug use and contact with these creatures dates back tens of thousands of years, and that the cave paintings sketched in places like Chauvet, France, are evidence of interaction with these beings. It seems far-fetched. The idea that a psychoactive substance could trigger some sort of extrasensory contact with non-human intelligence is a lot to swallow, especially without proof. While conspiracy theorists and researchers like Hancock argue that the proof is all around the world in ancient religious symbols, the mainstream considers this wishful interpretation rather than objective fact. Professor Strassman is attempting to find the biological explanations for the effects of DMT, and he believes the answer may lie in the pineal gland. Strassman theorizes that the pineal gland may be the source of human DMT production. He also notes the great symbolic significance ancient religious art seems to place on the so-called third eye, which he interprets as the pineal gland. During his experiments, he noted that the common hallucinations of his patients paralleled near-death experiences. When he gave patients a high dose of DMT, the compound seemed to induce the mental state found in encounters with aliens and religious experiences. Strassman is continuing his research today, exploring the connection between these states of consciousness and the historical accounts of prophecy. Some conspiracy theorists believe that DMT is illegal precisely because these experiences are not mere hallucinations. What's more, some argue that governments expose citizens to fluoride to inhibit the function of the pineal gland, hoping to keep the revelatory nature of these experiences from the mainstream. Yet it's difficult to believe that a vast government conspiracy this strange could exist without solid proof. And the current scientific research seems to produce more questions. Why does DMT occur naturally in the human body? Why do high amounts of DMT cause users to experience such similar, lucid hallucinations? Is DMT just a powerful hallucinogenic substance or something else? Something that ancient civilizations have used for centuries and modern science has only begun to rediscover.